Hello, my name is Doug and welcome to my version of Photoshop's astrophotography curves and levels. In this tutorial, tutorial I will show you how to use curves and levels as easy as one, two, three. So let's get started with Photoshop. Here you'll see a stacked image most of you have seen and for first time astrophotography users you see a black screen like this and you're like where's my data you know I spent all this time this is all I have well yeah that's all you see but with curves and levels you can bring out that data now the first step we need to, to notice here is that the image some some stacking programs will bring the image in as a 32-bit image and you can't start working with curves and levels in Photoshop until the image is in the 16-bit mode so the way we do that is we go image mode and we change it from 32-bit to 16-bit. Just say OK there. And now that we have the image in the 16-bit mode, we can now start applying curves and levels to this image. What I like to do is I like to make layers of my steps as I progress through the image. That way if I make a mistake, I can just simply go back to the last version that I that I liked in, in my processing steps. So let's get started with curves first. The way you start curves is you can go image adjustment curves. Now this also can be a shortcut key as control M. So we bring up the curves window and one thing I want to point out here is the uh, the black point. It's down here in the lower left corner of the uh, curves channel here. The way you get it over here is by clicking this button. It goes from white to black, white to black. Uh, what we want to do is we want to have the black down here in the lower left corner. With uh, Photoshop CS4, it has a little checkbox that says, I think, 0 to 255. If you check that box, it'll bring the black point down here. So now let's get started with curves. Just grab it right down here in the lower part and just yank it up pretty hard. Uh, most people understand that when you hit the curve up high like that and it goes flat line that you're actually losing data but not to fear we're gonna bring it back down and make a a more uh, symmetrical curve here that, so that was step two and then step three we bring down the white point a little bit give a little bit of breathing room and then we say okay to apply the curve now we don't see a lot of data but we're starting to see a little bit of data come to life here what you want to do as you apply levels or curves and levels is you want to apply the levels. So what we're going to do is we're under uh, adjustments, levels, and here you can see the data band right here. This is a very narrow data band. There's there's not much data in there right now, but as we apply to the curves, this band will get uh, wider and wider. So I'm going to take this black point. I'm just going to drag it about 50% between the data bar that's going right up here and the end of the uh, the levels point right there so we'll just say okay as you notice you can see I don't know if you can tell on this but the image was darkened a little bit when we pulled the black point to the right now we're going to go hit control M bring up the curves and we're going to yank that bottom point up flatline it at the top pull it down just a little bit and bring that white point down so it's one, two, three, curves, boom, done. Now you can see the image, it's starting to come out a little bit here and we'll probably need to uh, do some more uh, curves adjustment. But before we do that, we wanna check our levels. So that's Control L. And as you can see, there's our data line right here. We can go ahead and just move this up and over here a little ways and say okay. And we'll hit Control M going to yank this up again. It's two. We're going to pull that down a little bit. Last step, three. Give a little breathing room on the white point and say OK. Then we're going to hit Control L. And what you can see now is you can see that the the data in the histogram is starting to get these teeth, these little combing teeth. And when it starts to get those combing teeth like that, you're starting to get to a point where you might start washing out the image and you might be pulling it too far. So I'm going to say OK after I make that small adjustment on there. 
and we're going to go into the image one more time and hit Control M. And I think since we're getting close to uh, combing out the image, I'm not going to go as far on this. I'll probably bring it up just a little bit and you know bring it down just a little bit there. Maybe not. Uh, you know we're getting to a point now where it's starting to comb, so we don't want to yank that curve way up really high. Say OK. Control L. And you can see right now we've got some pretty good lines in our bell curve. So this is telling us that, yeah, this is this is getting about as far as we're going to want to stretch it. I'm going to drag this over here right to the point where it starts to, you know, start the bell curve up and say OK. And that, now you can see there's a lot of detail that have come, that comes out of the image. I mean, we started out with something like this, and now we've got this. So basically three curves, and we've got a pretty good start on processing our image. One last thing you might want to know about curves, control M, is the uh, you can add like a uh, give it a little bit of contrast by selecting the middle point here, selecting right there and right there and make like an S shaped curve. You can just drag that down like that and then drag that up like this and that'll give the image a little bit of contrast in there. This actually brought out this black nebula on the white nebula a little bit better. Anyways, that's the uh, steps of one, two, three curves. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Uh, I invite you to uh, visit myastroimages.com. We have a monthly imaging contest where you can click uh, on the forums and go down to the monthly imaging contest and enter your images. There is no uh, limit on how many images you can enter in and that's an open target so each month you can uh, feel free to enter whatever you would like to enter. One last note too is that uh, if you're a winner of one of the monthly contests we have a Wall of Fame coffee mug a quarterly contest so if you're image is voted by the users of uh, myastroimages.com as the best image you will receive a free coffee mug with your winning image thanks very much and I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial on curves and levels thank you